So this is the simplest way to not only resize images so that you have a nice small size file size for uploading to your website and uh, also making the pages deliver quickly so people can view them and it doesn't use up resources on their phones or the internet bandwidth and so on. And not only does it resize, but it will bulk resize, which is really important. So when you take pictures of your products with your phone, you'll just be able to select them in your photos folder and uh, share and run the resize action or shortcut it's called, and uh, they'll save to your files folder. So to find the shortcuts, two fingers in the middle drag down for the search bar, right, type in shortcut. This is if you can't find it. And there's the shortcuts app right there. We'll open it. In the top right corner, there's a plus sign. Hit that for a new shortcut. And then what we're going to do is click on the three little buttons in the blue dot in the right corner, top right corner. And that will allow us to put a name in. So I'm just going to call this one Resize Photos Bulk. We want to show this in the share sheet. So we'll enable that. At this point in time, share sheet types says anything. If we hit that, uh, click on deselect all in the top right corner and go down the list and look for images and select that. Head back and press done at the top right. So now that shortcut is available. And what we want to do now is click on the plus sign which will add some actions. And across the top, we're after media. And the first action that we want to take is bringing in the file. So scroll down there under images, it says get images from input. We'll click another for another action. So the next thing that we want to do is resize the image. I would recommend maybe changing it to 1024. And we need now to convert all images. So we convert image under images and it shows there as JPEG. And then finally we want to be able to export out the images. So we need to go back to the top. We want to change from media to documents. Save file. Okay, so we're done. I'm going to go to the photos, select an image and the share arrow down at the bottom. Then brings up our normal share options. If we go right to the bottom, you can see resize bulk photos. Click on that. It's being resized. And I've created a folder on my uh, iCloud drive. Another option that I have right here is to rename that. Done. Save. And it's saved. So now if I go into files, and there we go, and it's sized in a good quality for the web. Now let's just show a couple other options. So if I come in here, so I'll do hit select. Save. And there we go. They're all properly sized inside that folder. Another option, I, an app that I love using is Snapseed. It's a free app that you can download onto your device, whether it's Android or iOS. And we can open a picture here. So if you want to process an image and make it look better, let's just take one here. And so we can crop it. And then when we're ready to change it, let me see, we can go into here, brighten it up. Whatever we do, so if we go to export, the share button is on the top. We click on share, resize photos bulk. That's going to take that same image, which I'm just going to rename as moon in sky. And save it. We go back over to files, to that folder. There we go, moon in sky with all the processing and saves. Every image should be resized before going up into the website.